Good morning, my name is Tom with uh, Home and RV and I'm going to be doing uh, your video for you this morning and uh, we'll start over here on the uh, passenger side with your uh, awning partially out. Uh, your awning is for sunshade only so do not leave it out in stormy weather. Uh, you could uh, run the uh, fabric by it uh, catching the wind and blowing up over the top of your unit. When it is uh, extended all the way out, you can pull on this elbow and bring down a one side or the other or both for better shade control. That's basically what it is. It's a shade. Your uh, roof is a solid membrane front to back, side to side, except for where things come up through it. And your roof has a dicor sealant in the front, in the back, and everything that comes up through the roof has Dicor around it. Dicor is a brand name. They make a lot of things for campers. They make this caulking that's non-silicone. Do not use any silicone on that roof. It will eat through the membrane. One side of your storage is here, all the way through to the other side. As we come around, you have your tongue jack and level up system underneath the hood. You simply turn the power on to run the tongue jack. You push the button, hit extend or retract. <coughs> Same way with the front stabilizers or all jacks. You can uh, extend or retract here as well. Behind that is your uh, deep cycle or your deep cycle batteries. Uh, you want to check those uh, every once in a while, make sure that uh, water staying over the plates if it's, uh, if it's the kind that you can service. Your LP tanks are here, both tanks are full. Uh, this uh, arrow indicates we're drawing from this tank first and there's green on the uh, indicator showing there's gas in the tank. When the tank runs dry, this green will turn red, and then uh, you'll switch to your other tank, taking the uh, empty one off and refilling it. It's a good idea to camp with one off so you know when you're out of gas that you have a backup. There is a switch just uh, behind your batteries uh, on the uh, front cap, and that switch is for your lights, that LED lights, uh, on the front cap. Come around to the other side. You, other side of your storage, uh, you have a spray hose that will fit into a uh, outdoor shower that I'll show you in a little bit. And uh, also, you have a dump hose uh, for your sewer. So come around to your service panel. Uh, this is where that uh, hose would fit. It's a quick connect and then you can have hot and cold water out here. Right below that, it shows you a diagram of the different ways you need to turn your water knobs in order to uh, have whatever service you require. Dry camping, of course, is, uh, is shown uh, up in the upper left-hand corner is the way we have them turned now because we're operating on your onboard tank, which is called dry camping. Your city water, uh, you just turn the valve, uh, the green valve uh, to the left and when you hook up the city water and uh, so on and so on as you read the diagram as to what you want. This is where you hook up your city water. Uh, it's a good idea to have a pressure regulator for that to keep it at 55 pounds. And the pressure regulator should be uh, put on at the source, uh, not here. You have a black tank flush. Once you've dumped your sewer, and we'll show you that in a little bit, uh, you can hook a hose up to this and flush out your tank as long as your sewer hose is in a dump and the black tank is open. We'll move on around. This is where your black and gray tank pulls are, and they're right there. And there is the outlet for your sewer. So it's a bayonet connection. You'll just uh, turn that cap off, put the hose on, 
put the hose in the dump, pull your black first. Let the black tank uh, empty, and then you can pull the gray, and that will empty your gray tank plus wash out your hose. So come on around your unit. You also have a gray tank for your kitchen, and that pulls right there and hook up as well. 50 amp service plugs into your unit here, and all that cable is yours, as well as the 50 to 30 amp adapter. We're plugged into 30 amps right now, so we can only use uh, one AC at a time. Uh, if you have 50 amps, you could use two. Your uh, rear hatch door uh, has its own lock system, so that lock uh, key is on your key ring and you just pull it up, turn the handle, and pull it down to access your ramp. You have a ladder on the back of your unit, so you can go up and inspect your roof. Uh, we uh, suggest that you check those Dicor seals oh, about every uh, 90 days to make sure that they're not cracking or, or uh, coming apart off the roof. If they are, it's a possible leak point, so you want to then uh, Put new die core right over top of the old. Do not pull the old up. The new die core is uh, self-leveling and it will go right into the imperfection. And uh, your uh, refrigerator here in your outside uh, cook area is uh, 120 only. So it will only work when you're in camp. And then of course you have your sink and stopper. have cooktop pull one out lock it in with the two latches and it will hook into the gas connection there it's a quick connection with the cable that's on it or the, the hose that's on it but come on around this is your furnace exhaust it does get hot, but uh, we suggest you get a screen for this. That's a round screen that fits over top of the uh, the vent, and uh, it keeps mud daubers and little varmints from uh, coming out or getting in. You do have outdoor speakers. Your speakers are water resistant, not waterproof, so do not spray directly into them when you're washing. Uh, they will take rainwater and they'll take. Uh, you washing the unit down. Located here is your water heater on demand and uh, the to light it off you simply go inside push the button and then you'll have hot water at your disposal. There is a, a blow-off valve here that you just want to check and make sure there is water uh, flow before you light it off. You have outside a receptacle and uh, antenna access to uh, the antenna on your roof. You uh, could bring a TV out here and plug it in and plug it into your antenna and then you would uh, you'd have service out here. We'll uh, go inside now and uh, do the same thing. As you come into your unit, you'll see your breaker panel. Your breaker panel, uh, all the breakers are uh, 110 or 120, and uh, the uh, they're all marked as what they go to. Past your converter are your uh, 12 volts, and they're all marked as well as to what they go to. We'll go in the kitchen first. Your refrigerator is 12 volt, so it will operate while you're traveling because you're plugged into your 12 volt system in your truck and uh, also when you're plugged into shore power it operates on the converter. You have a nice cooktop, it has some fan and light and to light it off you simply turn the dial 
and hit the spark. It will light off each burner. When the uh, knobs are red, it means gas is coming out. You can also light your oven by turning it to light and hitting in the sparker as well. That will light the pilot. And then you can turn the uh, temperature up to where you want it. You want to travel with the glass top of the cooktop down. Uh, do not cook on that. Someone's tried and it's not a good idea. Your uh, microwave is here. And the hot service instead of the uh, rotating rotisserie. Your sink with a nice sprayer. Light switches for the overhead uh, over your uh, island. And as you come back into the back, uh, you have a, a nice couch that makes out into a bed and a bunk up here as well. Uh, the couch will fold up so you could bring in a uh, motorcycle or, or whatever you uh, have the ramp for. Uh, it will fold up and uh, give you that access. We come on through. Your uh, dinette does make into a bed as well and all you do is Simply push it down, it's on a pressure release, and it will go down to these rails. Then you can bring the pillows forward and make it into a bed. Light switch for the underneath. And the switches on the uh, lights are right in the center. Nice recliners. A nice fireplace. Your fireplace has a remote and uh, you can adjust the flame to different colors and it also has heat. It will take the chill off on a day like today. Also have remote for your TV. <clears throat> your uh, radio uh, is uh, hmm, there it is. Power on. Eric Viagra, four bucks to oh, do Oh, that's it. good. Wow. Yeah, that's... that's a better song. Here, uh, thermostat. You just, uh, I'm going to turn it down. You simply push the button. Yeah, that's the on off. That's the off switch. As you keep scrolling through, it's going to ask for the fan. Uh, fan on high, low, or auto. I usually leave mine on auto. That way it turns off and on when, uh, when I want. The heat, uh, you simply run up temperature to where you want and your heat is uh, LP. So, furnace will kick on here in a minute because it's a little chilly here this morning. Come on into your bathroom. Your bathroom uh, toilet uh, fills with the touch of a foot pedal. You simply press it slightly until water is running in and filling it to the height you wish. Once uh, you've used it, then hit the foot pedal again. That will flush it down into the black tank. This is also where you put your black tank chemicals. Your black tank chemicals, uh, you can use tablets, you can use uh, liquid, doesn't matter as long as it's for RV use. Uh, they will uh, last about seven days. Uh, if you have not dumped in seven days, then uh, you're going to have to put more in or go ahead and dump your black tank and uh, put fresh 
uh, chemicals in. You have fan up above and it opens with this knob. Also have light switch for your bathroom. You have a nice walk-in shower. Just make sure it's locked before you uh, travel. In the bedroom, you have light switch for the bed. You also have a thermostat here, and it's just for your AC. You can hook a TV up to uh, this area. It does show that there's a backer there for uh, uh, mounting a, a TV bracket. Your bed does have uh, storage underneath it and also a, uh, a doggy creek if you uh, wish to, uh, if you have a dog. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much uh, everything I can tell you about your unit. Uh, if you have any questions once you've received this uh, video or watched it on uh, YouTube uh, don't hesitate to call they'll get you in touch with one of us who uh, who does walkthroughs all the time and and we'll be glad to answer any questions well I'm also sending you a manual that we wrote uh, of how to use your unit as well so uh, thank you again for buying uh, for your unit from Holman and uh, have fun camping